All right, everybody, Reaper from OFR. As you see, the waterfall's working great ever since we cleaned that filter out. It's moving spectacular. And the fish, they're out and about. There's still some of them hiding in the, uh, the cave, the tube, where uh, David reached in and grabbed three. You saw two on a video. But not a whole lot going on today. Uh, we got a few things to clean up and this and that. We do have a rescue coming up, a special rescue. Uh, and, uh, I'm not even going to say where or anything. It's an anonymous rescue. They don't want to be videoed. They don't want their location. Nothing. But it's going to be a really good one and it's going to be a lot of good fish. So you guys, you'll have to stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we'll go around and see a few things and check things out for ya. And our saltwater eel, he's doing just fine. And of course the fish are just fine. We moved the one coral up here because this one kept pushing at it, moving it, and stinging it, so it wanted to be right there. So we moved a couple things around. Yeah, everything's doing good in here. And Rich is working on the salt water tank. So he's just got a lot of figuring out on what to do and where it goes and how we're going to set it all up. How he's going to set it all up. <laughs> Uh, there's Mr. Turtle down there. I haven't seen him in a bit. Brutus. I'm not sure what happened, but I think he got his nose scratched under one of these logs or something. I don't think nobody would be messing with Brutus. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, look at all those cichlids. So many of them. Pretty soon the full pond will have more cichlids than the Bellagio. <laughs> okay, and then the uh, white stand and tank that we picked up. Uh, me, Dylan, and uh, Hoover the other day in Cleveland there from Trish and Ron. That's going to go up for sale to recoup some of the, you know, expenses for gas and so forth for some of the trips. It's fully complete. It's got everything. There's pumps in here, filters, two uh, LED lights that come with it. It's got the tops, everything. Got a canister in there. So I don't know how much it's going for, but I know it's going for sale. And I believe the one we built for Mara... Well, we built that one, and Neon, she fell in love with it. She's like, I want that instead. So we gave it to her. <laughs> so I think this one might be up for sale. I'm not sure what Rich has the plans on this one yet. I'm not sure. We'll see. All right, and you're draining water, and the purpose I'm of that? draining water. Or you're putting water into a tub. <laughs> yes, I'm filling up the tub a little bit. I was trying to mess you up. <laughs> um, we decided to go ahead. I think you saw it on one of my last videos. Um, I think the one that came out today, I don't know, to go ahead and drain this water out and put fill, fill it with sand, take out all these decorations. These decorations we had laying around and they were fine at the time, but that don't look natural. Plus, I need more tanks to put live plants. Live plants can go right in here with these guys, no problem. So I'll have to change the lighting on top to a much brighter LED lighting and I'll take out all these castles and then we can put sand in there, which is also gonna help this divider stay upright better and uh, live plants all the way in the back and leave these guys in the front. It'll look more natural, plus uh, it's more of their natural uh, habitat. Habitat, thank you. So uh, that's what we're starting on today. We're just filling the tub to put uh, Sir Fahoxalot, that's the thing, <laughs> into there. And uh, we're gonna fill another tub for uh, What's your girlfriend's name? Lavaca. Sometimes these words just don't come to me, son. Um, it's that brain surgery thing. So we're another tub for Lavaca, and uh, then we're going to drain this all the way down. If we take the sand, which is used sand out of another tank, and pour it in here, it's going to be clouds of fill. So we'll rinse out the sand. While this is empty, we'll pour it in place. Then we can fill it with water, and I can start putting plants in it. Okay. You know, the problem is, 
they're going to want to see the finished product <laughs> on this video. Then it ain't happening. <laughs> Did I stick around that long? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, wait. Today is the uh, live stream also. Yeah. So oh, I can no. only work until 5 o'clock, and then I got to get the live stream And ready. it's already past 3. It's 3? It's past 3, yeah. Oh, geez, you want to wait on this till the next time you're over and we'll make that our day job? You know what? Yeah, because we can do the entire thing then. Okay. Okay, okay yeah. Well, that's a good add-on to your beginning of your video. <laughs> <laughs> and Sorry, I did, guys. I did tell the people the other day how you had that in mind on taking those plants because, okay. you know, you see how full it is, and he already filled the angel tank, and it's going crazy, and like he says, he's got nowhere else, but these guys... Perfect. Nice big tank. We can get some stuff done. I can't believe it's already so, three o'clock. I know it is. I don't know what happened, but it well we went I'm shopping, gonna, we went running around. Yeah, and I'm gonna lose my nurse in an hour. Yeah, she's gone in an hour, less than an hour. So but yeah, we'll I wait. I need we'll to do. get two nurses back here and I need a second nurse again. We've got I think it's 48, 48 more hours that can be filled that they're willing to pay for. We need an LPN or an RN that's close to us in Strongsville that's willing to maybe stop working in a nursing home where you have 30 patients and you only got one patient. And you know, you can take better care of her and it's a very nice environment. You sit there and watch TV. You only have to get up. She has to be fed every four hours. She has to be changed pretty much every four hours. Uh, suctioned out hourly, um, unless anything else happens, then that's pretty much it. But you know, she'll have coughing fits to where she's coughing it out and sucking it back in and you have to internally Suctioner, that'll be on the you know uh, every once in a while type thing. Um, she may she may go into uh, where she's desaturating stuff like that. Um, so I mean it's it's very easy to take care of her if you're a nurse. You, you you've done this and you take care of many of a job in a nursing home. That's hectic. A job here is very nice and casual. The nurses <laughs> love it that, that, that have been here. They know I'm coming with the food. They're always ready. <laughs> there you go, guys. Calm down. We'll see if any hits the ground. We need something to hit the ground for the babies, the little ones. Okay, it's down to about here now. It's getting thin. Okay, there's a bunch here. Yeah. Yep, now it's hitting the ground. Here come the babies. Yep. Right here. Oh, look, there's like 12 right there. Little tiny, tiny things. There's more over here. Little super newborns. <laughs> Just come out of mom's mouth. That's right, they hide in their mouth, huh? Yeah, they're mouth brooders. Oh, and the uh, black spotted black eel. Black spotted eel, yeah. And where are we putting that? And where that? That's... Uh, we already put them in a thousand gallon over there. You can mm. show them that. Okay, so the black spot. Oh, the... oh where is he? There's the fiery. Oh, there he is. Right there. Right out in front. The black spotted eel, the fiery eel. Okay. He looks awesome. Yeah. Good, buddy. Yeah, he's in the Uh, he's in the thousand now. All right, weekend's coming up. And we'll be giving away the fish. We got a clown knife. We got a red tail. We got an alligator gar. There should be. Oh yeah, there's two plecos in the back. Those are the big ones we brought in as well. That's what we only got left in the 550. Did you get the clown knife? Huh? Okay. We've got these uh, <clears throat> cichlids here to give out. They're coming out of quarantine. Right. These were the ones we rescued. Did you already take? There was two blue ones. You took yeah, them then. Took out <laughs> of course. Well, we got them two tanks. And we got so, these yellow ones, yellow yeah. labs. Yeah, these are yellow labs. And what are these? These were crossed between. I don't remember. Yeah. But anybody yeah. wants some cichlids? We also got silver dollars. And we got three silver dollars in there. And then I don't know if there's anything in here. Mm, I think we, yeah, we emptied that. Three Oscars and a uh, Jaguar. Jaguar cichlid up here. These are all to be rehomed, people. This weekend they'll be gone. People will show up all weekend long helping us out, and then they'll take, you know, what they want. So if you want anything, come out this weekend and grab it. And of course, these are going to go into the tank right behind yes. us. 
They're the beautiful. Severums. Yep. Lemon severum, and then this one's a sunset or sunburst or something like that. It looks that. so much like a discus if it was just a hair thinner. <laughs> Doesn't it? Boy, you're a fat discus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. And then these guys, because they're the albinos, they're going to the 2200, of yes. course. Yeah. And then, so this weekend, all these tanks will be empty. Cool, we'll start again again. So basically, we've been cleaning up all the stuff by that 900 sitting outside the curb one. We just stuck the motors under there. There's a bunch of stuff we stuck over here for the salt water, including whatever that thing is. And we found another RO system with that meter on it. And just we're just putting stuff away, basically. Just cleaning up outside. Okay, we're going to take the pump that we used to clean out the front pond the other day. And we're going to put it in the van because we haven't had a pump in a while. Uh, the other one broke, so we just need a little longer hose that we can hook up to it. But <laughs> it's going to come in so handy. Alright, just a day of doing this and doing that. And doing some Madagascar lace plant doing good. Been going for a week or so. A little bit of a bloom on top yet. But, as you heard, we do have a rescue coming up. Uh, they want to remain anonymous, and that's the way it'll stay. But uh, we got some awesome fish to pick up, and, you know, we'll do as much as we can on Betty Oig and showing you guys the rescue. Um, and the other one is Lavaca and the uh, <laughs> Sir... <laughs> I can't remember the name even Rich has trouble so and he named it <clears throat> but we're gonna uh, get that landscape we didn't realize it was just that late in the date and Mar uh, in the day and Mar had to leave but uh, we're gonna go back out tomorrow we got a plan we got, already got the buckets we got a little bit of it as we uh, left today taken care of so we'll get that done and you know we'll make a video and then that way we can get some more plants in there like this tank and it'll be more like their natural environment and of course you guys check out that flyer we put in uh for the uh, mammoth cave uh expo coming up and that'll be for may the 7th and 8th uh if you can go down there it's not too far six six hours or so not too bad awesome Mammoth Cave itself is a great place to go uh, into. Uh, it's an awesome cave. I wanted to go there. I don't know if I'll have time to, but I sure do want to check it out. In the meantime, you guys, you stay fishy. Hit that like, subscribe, and share, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.